Okay, what we have here is a 1966 80302 Briggs and Stratton three and a half horsepower four-stroke motor uh, from a 1966 uh, power car frame. Uh, it is original, and one of the ways you can tell an original power car motor is the pull cord comes off the bottom. Let's go ahead and try to give her a start here, see if we can get it going. Turn the, turn the choke. Okay, uh, choke's running on manual right now, so without that hooked up, uh, going down through the frame and up forward, it's going to be a little hard to uh, keep it running, uh, just with me trying to do it manually. Um, but, like I said, the biggest differences you're going to find in the motors that were made for power car, number one, they got the large gas tank up front that allows them to run in parades or whatever for lengthy periods of time. Uh, there's an actual hole through the body up above the engine that allows for filling the gas tank uh, without uh, removing the body. There's a little pet cock down here on the bottom of the engine in order to shut it off, but this pull cord will not have this handle here when it's all said and done. This cord will actually extend out approximately another five feet, go through a pulley immediately below here on the frame, forward on the frame up to the middle of the driver's legs, and once it gets to the middle of the driver's legs, then the driver can reach down below, grab this pull cord, and pull start the engine at that point. Uh, the choke connection goes through and comes up over on the side of the driver so they can pull the choke and pull on the uh, pull cord from the seated position in order to get started. All the gas powered models also had a kill switch in the uh, Mustangs that was hidden in the glove box uh, lock area and it looked just like the glove box lock. Uh, you put your key in and open, uh, turn the uh, key on which would then stop grounding the ignition circuit and allow the motor to run. You took and turned the key off and you pulled the key out, it would uh, short out the ignition cir uh, circuit and shut the motor off. One of the biggest things that's going to make a big difference about these motors is right here, this clutch. This is a Fairbanks Morse A, a as an Alfred, 625A transmission uh, that was available back in the 50s and 60s. I have not been able to find a source for them now, but uh, the big difference is that when the motor is running, turning this normal direction, it's spinning this way in order to, to drive the um, drive the car that direction, of course, centrifugal clutch operation, so it only uh, engages when the engine's above certain RPMs. However, you notice out here on this outside edge, this band, there's a planetary transmission inside of there. When the band that goes around here, there's a brake band, band that goes around here and is activated by a pull lever on the side of the, the driver, left side of the driver. When that band is pulled on, notice the rotation, it changes and goes the opposite direction. You want to put a power car in reverse, pull on the lever, locks down on this outer band here, and sends the thing going the other direction.